Hey guys, it's Fancy, and you're watching the Good Wives Network. And oh boy, we all know that Miss Pink Cat Sarah has been running all over the area in the true crime community, the drama community, to spread her narrative of things that have happened since she has been with our team. And she made a lot of claims and she has said a lot of things to a variety of people that has begun to not add up in any way, shape, or form for us. And so the biggest one that we have found is this story she tells about pancreatic failure. Currently, she is telling people that she has leukemia and type 3 diabetes. Now, the type 3 diabetes I had never heard of before, but it is pancreatic failure, and that is why it's a rare condition. Now, it is not got a great prognosis for how long people with these such severe, like she's saying, conditions have. Let me get some information for you real quick, though. So this right here is Sadie Beth one on her Instagram. It's under Sarah underscore lovey underscore Anderson. Interesting. Now it's not under the other ones that she has always had up. I just found this one. I had never seen it before. Someone alerted me to it and it appears that it is abandoned. Uh, she has not been posting on it regularly. She has not done anything. And this post right here comes from October 14th of 2023. Pause to read. So I'm gonna read it for you, however. I have been battling pancreatic failure since 2010. 2010, a human being can't live a full life without their pancreas and as of today, there is no medical possibility for pancreas transplants, which blows my mind in this day and age. We need to find a cure for the agonizing and deadly disease. Please help prayers. So I'm not a doctor, despite the fact that some people think I think I am. I have simply been educated heavily on a case that revolves about medical records. Now, on top of that, I do happen to be a child whose mother had juvenile diabetes, and I was a single child to a single mother. I spent a lot of time in hospitals, doctor's offices, and I was a sponge, and I wanted to know everything. Not to mention, I've had my own health battles. So, and I've had to fight for my daughter who has EDS, her health battles, and my daughter that has her learning disabilities. So I have been well versed in this and I know of quite a bit of knowledge, but I don't know anything about pancreatic cancer or pancreatitis. And so I went to pancreatica.org and I want you to read, listen to what they have to say about this specific disorder that she is claiming that she is severely ill. She has told me in the past that she did not know if she was going to be here much longer, that I needed to find myself a co-host that could be could be supportive and helpful. Yet when I did that, she threw a temper tantrum and decided to leave the company for a variety of bullshit reasons. However, what she knows is that the reason she decided to tell us that was because she was supposed to be in a meeting that same day where we were going to discuss whether or not she was going to be continuing on with the team, depending on the way that she was behaving and her actions and whether she would take accountability for them at all. Sarah does not take accountability for anything. In fact, currently she's bringing all of her past bad behaviors towards all the members that she's running around with on me. Well, I assure you, it was not me who made that post about Brie. It was not me who said the things about Nina. That was you and we have the proof. Well, let's get back to pancreatic cancer real quick, shall we? Each year, more than 50,000 people in the United States and double this number in Europe are now diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, ad adenocarcinoma. The prognosis is such that most of these people will have passed by the end of the first year. In the US, pancreatic cancer is ninth or 10th most commonly diagnosed cancer, depending on gender, but the fourth leading cause of cancer death in men and women. Each year, more than 50,000 people in the United States and double this number in Europe. Oh, I'm sorry, I repeated. <laughs> the prognosis of pancreatic cancer 
adrenocarcinoma of the pancreas is a very tough one. Though the survival rates have been incrementally improving, particularly over the past 10 to 15 years, it is important to realize that each person is individual, each cancer is different, statistics can only indicate what tends to happen in the aggregate and not in the case of an individual person. The median survival duration from the time of diagnosis until demise is arguably the worst of any of the cancers, certainly of the major cancers. The median survival for untreated advanced pancreatic cancer is about three and a half months. With good treatment, this increases to about eight months, though many will live much longer. We have encountered nine and 11 and 12 year survivors. So it is possible she could, but I would believe with all of the problems and the severity that she continues to have, I would think that that would be unlikely. Now, this is all allegedly, in my opinion, for entertainment and educational purposes only, but I am reading this information from pancreatica.org, and it is talking about the actual pancreatic cancer and prognosis and survival rate. So, perhaps it is a good time to discuss what the term median means. Simply put, the median is the time point, goodness, sorry, that separates half of patients who live longer from the half who will live less. Thus, there are many patients who will live much longer than the median. The American Cancer Society prognosis figures show that the stage at which pancreatic cancer is diagnosed is strongly correlated to survival earlier, obviously being better. But the statistics are still pretty tough. The five-year survival rate with good treatment is now considered to be about 8%. Again, it is imperative to understand that each person's situation, individual, each case is different. Statistics can only indicate what tends to happen in the aggregate and not in the case of an individual person. Many people do better than average. The prognosis for those who are able to have surgery is improved over those who are not able. Unfortunately, only about 15% of the individuals with pancreatic cancer will be found to be eligible for surgery. For most, the cancer will have been found to be too advanced. For example, patients with pancreatic cancer who received the Whipple surgical procedure in one study from a very experienced John Hopkins team were reported as having 21% five, five year survival rate with a median survival of 15.5 months. In most recent studies, this five-year median survival duration after surgery has been reported as high as 20 months. The prognosis is also better for those whose pancreatic cancer is diagnosed at an earlier stage. The median survival duration for diagnosis with chemotherapy medical treatment in locally advanced cancer of the pancreas has been reported as six to 12 months. It's been 14 years, Sarah. What is going on? Do you really have stage three or type three diabetes? Do you really have pancreatic cancer? Are you really that freaking sick? Or is it all just one of your stories? Have a good one from The Good Wives. Serving up true crime, one dish at a time. Bye, guys. Mwah.